Hello and welcome to an ARC Server Review video of Unified Data Protection 6.5. This video is designed as a high-level overview where we will continue. This video is designed as a high-level overview where we will outline the new features available in 6.5. Now let's take a look at the live demonstration. Now that you've gotten familiar with the main features of UDP, Let's take a look at what's new in UDP version 6.5. Here are some of the key changes in ArcServe UDP version 6.5. Exchange Online Protection has been added. Also support for backup from UNC paths or network shares. Automatic protection of newly added VMs. Agentless file level restore for VMs backed up by agentless backup. A new assured recovery task. Virtual standby to Amazon EC2, SLA reporting for RTO and RPO. We've added hardware snapshot supports for HP and Nimble. Can now copy recovery points to Amazon EC2. We've improved our product activation and have provided enhancements to our job status report. ArcServe UDP 6.5 introduces a new feature to help organizations protect their Office 365 emails hosted on the Microsoft public or private cloud. Using this feature, users can secure and maintain a local backup of their Office 365 email data to eliminate the risk of data loss due to an outage or accidental deletion. Backup administrators can protect individual items such as emails, calendars, contacts, tasks, notes, and so on. They can search the protected items and restore using a wide range of flexible recovery options. By using the Smart Filter feature, administrators can opt to selectively back up only important folders and exclude others such as sync issues, clutter, and so on. The feature reduces the backup window and also helps to save the crucial network bandwidth and storage. ArcServe UDP 6.5 is now capable of protecting SMB, SIF shares, exported by Windows, Linux, and NAS devices. Backup to a non-deduplicated store which can be replicated to a deduplicated data store. This provides a unified user experience as agent-based backup and host-based backup, leveraging dedupe data stores where the data can be replicated to, replication, assured recovery, copy to tape, etc. features in UDP to protect their data better. New in UDP 6.5, users can automatically protect newly added VMs. They can protect a single container object such as a resource pool in vSphere hierarchy. As a result, new VMs added in the container object are protected automatically. This feature is applicable to VMware VM backup only at this time. A new Assured Recovery task has been added in the 6.5 release. The ArcServe UDP Assured Recovery allows you to view the health status of the recovery points, integrity and recoverability of recovery points are tested on a scheduled basis. There are two methods. First, IVM tests the boot up, requires vSphere or Hyper-V, and can be used to measure RTO. This method can be resource intensive and we recommend using only on critical systems or critical data sets, daily or weeklies. Do not use this on every node or every data set. Whereas Instant VHD does not require access to the hypervisor, can go directly to the recovery point and mount as a virtual full. We've added support for hardware snapshot supports for HP and Nimble storage. ArcServe UDP integration with hardware snapshots is based on ArcServe UDP agent and agentless backups. ArcServe UDP supports the hardware snapshots for agent-based backup in Windows physical machines and agentless backups in Hyper-V and VMware VMs. The HPE RMC manages the three-par store serve storage array in VMware VMs. With nimble storage arrays, ArcServe UDP extends support to agentless backups for VMware VMs. Copy recovery points. UDP enables you to copy the recovery points to the cloud, local, or shared folder. This feature provides an advanced flexible scheduling mechanism where customers can configure daily, weekly, and monthly backup sessions to the cloud local shared folder. Previously, this was based on your backup schedule. 
Now, ArcServe UDP helps you to perform the following three tasks directly from a node. Download Recovery Point from the cloud. ArcServe UDP enables you to download recovery points from cloud to local share or network share. Upload Recovery Point to cloud. ArcServe UDP enables you to upload recovery points from backup destinations such as recovery point servers, direct attached storage, locals, remote shares, or to cloud. Copy recovery point to local disk or network share. ArcServe UDP enables you to run the copy recovery point job on demand. You can upload or download the recovery point from or to cloud or local share or shared folder. After you install the ArcServe UDP software or configure an ArcServe UDP appliance, you can log into the console using the username and password that you specified during installation. The ArcServe UDP console lets you manage all ArcServe UDP functions. The following basic UI elements are available throughout the ArcServe UDP user interface. Tabs. Tabs let you navigate to the various functions of ArcServe UDP. Panes. When you navigate to each tab, the displayed screen is divided into the following panes. Each pane is used to perform related functions. The left pane lets you navigate to various functions and operations. The result of each click is displayed in the center pane. The center pane lets you perform most of the actions in this pane, such as adding, deleting, and modifying. This pane also displays the result and status of each activity, such as jobs, plans, and reports. Most of your actions are performed on this pane. The information displayed on this page is mostly the result of the options that you selected in the left pane. The right pane displays a summary of the items you selected on the center pane. For example, on the Jobs tab, if you select a job from the center pane, then a brief summary of the job such as Job Monitor, if there is a job running, and job details like Source Node Name, Task, Destination Recovery Point Server, and Destination Data Store is displayed in the right pane. The Dashboard tab lets you view a graphical representation of the latest backup status and data storage of the last seven days. Using the Dashboard tab, you can view the graphs for the following options on the Dashboard tab. Last Backup Status Last Backup Status refers to the latest backup status and provides you multiple filters to view the status. Based on your selection from the filter option, you can view the last backup status. For example, select all nodes to see the last backup status of all nodes or select any plan to see the last backup status of the nodes protected by this plan. When you select all nodes, you can see the status as successful, failed, no backups, canceled, and missed. Successful indicates that the nodes are successfully backed up. Failed indicates that the last backup is not successful. No backups indicate that the nodes do not have any plan associated with them. Canceled indicates that the last backup was stopped. Missed indicates that the last backup was not performed as scheduled. When you click each slice, the status, from the pie chart, the resources page opens and the associated nodes are displayed. For example, if you click No Backups from the pie chart, the resources page displays the nodes that do not have any plan. Also, the No Backups filter is pre-selected on the Resources page. Actual, Restorable, and Raw Data for 7 Days The graph refers to the raw data versus restorable data versus actual data stored in the last 7 days. Restorable data refers to the actual data that can be restored. Actual data storage refers to information about the data storage. Raw data refers to the original data that the ArcServe UDP gets from the source. The ArcServe UDP RTO report is a compliance report that displays the comparison of recovery time actual and recovery time objective values for all the executed recovery type of jobs such as file system restore, VM recovery, bare metal restore, instant VM, and assured recovery. You can further drill down to see node level status filtered by RTO met, not met, not tested, and not defined status. The ArcServe UDP report displays the total number of nodes with available recovery points during the specified time period in the bar view categorized by age of latest recovery point, 15 minutes, last hour, 12 hours, last day, and so on, age of oldest recovery points, 30 days and older, 
and monthly distribution, January through December, you can further drill down to see node level status for the selected category. Resources. The Resources tab lets you manage the ArcSurf UDP resources, nodes, destinations, virtual standby, and plans. Use this tab to add resources to ArcSurf UDP, such as nodes that you want to protect or recovery point servers for backup. You also use this tab to create plans and tasks for backup, virtual standby, and replication. Node Management. The Node Management view lets you manage all the nodes and apply filters to refine the node search. When you select a specific node in the center pane, you can see the status and recent events about the node in the right pane. You can apply various filters from the center pane. You can create node groups on the left pane to group specific nodes. When you select a node from the center pane, the node status and recent events are displayed in the right pane. You can perform operations on nodes by clicking the Actions drop-down menu from the center pane. Such operations that you can perform through actions in the center pane is applied to all source nodes. Such operations that you can perform through actions in the right pane is only applied to the node that you select in the center pane. Plan Management. The Plan Management view lets you manage all your plans. You can create, modify, delete, deploy, pause, and resume plans from this view. Let's take a look at the options for creating a plan. Left click on Add a Plan, under Task Type, the options are Agent-Based Linux, defines a backup task to protect Linux nodes. The agent is installed on a Linux backup server and not on the source nodes that you want to protect. Agent-Based Windows, defines a backup task to protect Windows nodes. In an agent-based backup method, an agent component is used to backup data. The agent is installed on the source node. Files on UNC Path. New to UDP 6.5 is the ability to protect UNC paths. To protect your directories and files located on the UNC path, you need to create a plan. The plan for UNC path consists of a backup task. The backup task lets you specify the nodes you want to protect, the backup destination, and the backup schedule. The backup destination is a recovery point server where you want to store your backup data. Please view the Creating Plans video for specifics on how to set up UNC path plan creation within UDP. Host-based agentless defines a backup task to protect host-based virtual machines in a VMware, vCenter, ESX, or Microsoft Hyper-V server. In an agentless backup method, you do not need to install an agent component on either the server or the virtual machine. New in the UDP 6.5 release is the automatic protection of newly added VMs within VMware. You can protect a single container object, such as a resource pool, in the vSphere hierarchy. As a result, new VMs added into the container object are protected automatically. Please view the Creating Plans video for specifics on how to set up host-based agentless plans within UDP. Office 365 Exchange Online ArcServe UDP 6.5 introduces a new feature to help organizations protect Office 365 emails hosted on the Microsoft public or private cloud. Using this feature, users can secure and maintain a local backup of their Office 365 email data to eliminate the risk of data loss due to an outage or accidental deletion. Backup administrators can protect individual items such as emails, calendars, contacts, tasks, notes, and so on. They can search the protected items and restore it using a wide range of flexible recovery options. By using the Smart Filter feature, administrators can opt to selectively back up only important folders and exclude others such as sync issues, clutter, and so on. This feature reduces the backup window and also helps to save the crucial network bandwidth and storage. Please view the Office 365 Exchange Online video for specifics on how to set up a backup plan for Exchange Online within UDP. Replicate from a remotely managed RPS. To replicate your backup data to a destination recovery point server that is managed from a different console, specify the remote server and plan details and connect to the remote server. Let's modify an existing plan. Here we have the option of adding tasks to the existing plan. 
we can see the new Assured Recovery task that is available in UDP 6.5. ArcServe UDP Assured Recovery allows you to view the health status of the recovery points. Integrity and recoverability of recovery points are tested on a scheduled basis. Please view the Assured Recovery video for specifics on how to set up Assured Recovery within UDP. The Copy Recovery Point task copies the recovery points from the back of destination to a shared folder, local volume, or cloud destination. The Copy to Tape task lets you copy your data to a tape. The File Archive task lets you archive individual files to the specified destination. The original files are deleted from the source and a stub file is created after you have copied their files to a specified destination and provides more available free space at your source. The file copy task lets you copy individual files to the specified destination. The original copy is retained after you have copied the files to the specified destination. The replication task allows you to create a replicate task to further protect your data by copying your backup data from one recovery point server to another recovery point server. You may also copy your backup data from one data store to another data store in the same recovery point server. The replication destination must be a data store in the recovery point server. You can create multiple replicate tasks to perform multiple replications. Use replicate to remotely manage RPS when you want to replicate your backup data to a destination recovery point server that is managed from a different console. Specify the remote server and plan details and connect to the remote server. Create a virtual standby task so that the backup data is converted to a virtual machine format and a virtual machine is created. The virtual standby feature also monitors the heartbeat of the source node so that when the source node is down, the virtual machine immediately takes over as the source node. New in UDP 6.5, the virtual standby task now supports the conversion of the recovery points to the virtual machine formats on Amazon EC2. With the help of the snapshots to restore your data easily, this feature ensures the highest available capability by using the public cloud and also helps in shifting your backup environments on-premise to Amazon EC2 easily and quickly. Now, let's go back to the left pane and review our other options. Destination Management. The Destination Management view lets you manage the destination recovery point servers. When you select a server from the center pane, its recent events are displayed in the right pane. When you select a data store, its status and settings are displayed in the right pane. Infrastructure. The Infrastructure Management view lets you manage storage arrays, instant virtual machines, and remote sites. New in UDP 6.5 is hardware snapshot support for HP and Nimble storage. The Jobs tab displays the status of the jobs for a specific period. You can apply filters to categorize the results or you can group the jobs by plan. When a job is in progress, the right pane displays the job monitor that displays the progress of the job. Click Job Details on the right pane to open the job monitor. You can see the job monitors only if the job is in progress. To cancel a job, open the job monitor and click Cancel. The Reports tab displays a list of reports that you can generate. You can apply filters to your reports to get specific reports. The reports are generated in CSV, PDF, or HTML formats. ArcServe UDP provides the following type of reports. The Alert Report. ArcServe UDP displays the alert information for nodes. Besides the common filters and actions, alert reports provide the capability to sort out your alert dashboard by acknowledging. By default, your alert, by default, your alert report dashboard shows only unacknowledged alerts. You can acknowledge, you can click acknowledge link placed with every alert to remove it from the dashboard view. If you want to view the acknowledge report, select acknowledge in the Acknowledge Type option of Local Filter. Backup Size Trend Report The ArcServe UDP Backup Size Trend Report displays the backup data size of ArcServe Backup and ArcServe UDP Agent in the historical view and then projects the growth trend that you can prepare for future storage space requirements. 
This report includes information for nodes which run on supported Windows and Linux operating systems and allows you to drill down to display more detailed information for an individual nodes. Besides the common filters and actions, the backup size trend report provides the capability to view results based on the number of days. Node backup status reports. ArcSurf UDP displays the latest backup status of all nodes during a specific time period. This report allows you to view detailed information about nodes based on categories such as selected type of groups and node tier. Besides the common filters and actions, Node Backup Status Reports provides the capability to view results based on the number of days. The report displays the following job status. Successful provides a list of jobs that are completed successfully. Failed provides a list of jobs that failed. Incomplete provides a list of jobs that finished with incomplete status. Cancel provides a list of jobs that are canceled. Missed provides a jobs that are not attempted. No backup provides a list of nodes without any assigned plan or nodes with plan assigned but still waiting for backups to run. Virtualization protection status reports. Displays the latest backup status of virtual machines that host space VM backup or virtual standby or ArcServe backup protects. This report lets you view information for a specified time period and drill down to display more detailed information about each selected category. Besides the common filters and actions, virtualization protection status reports provides the capability to view results based on the number of days and view reports as pie chart or table. Managed capacity reports displays the raw data size of the last successful full backup for each node that ArcServe Backup, ArcServe UDP Agent, and Host-based VM Backup protect. Data distribution on media reports displays the compressed and actual raw backup data size for different destination types of deduped or non-deduped and local destinations during the specific time period. Recovery Point Objective Report is the compliance report that displays how the recovery points are distributed in the backup environment. The report helps assessing, in the case of a disaster, what is the oldest and latest point in time that the node can return to. As the RPO report is for backup destination, the report gets populated either through on-demand, resync, or according to schedule. The following types of information is provided. Monthly distribution of recovery points in the backup destination. Age of the newest recovery point available for each node. Age of the oldest recovery point available for each node. Besides the common filters and actions, the RPO reports provide the unique option of resync in the local filter. The recovery time objective report is the compliance report that displays if the defined recovery time objective is met for all the executed recovery types of jobs. The RTO report displays the following types of status. RTO met, recovery job has met the defined objective. RTO not met, recovery job has not met the defined objective. RTO not defined, the objective is not defined for the recovery job. RTO not tested, the recovery time objective is defined but the job has not been tested yet. You can define recovery time objectives for all recovery jobs in the SLA profiles. Besides the common filters and actions, RTO reports provide unique option of SLA profile and RTO status in the local filter. RPO and RTO reports are new to UDP 6.5. For more information, please see the video covering creating SLA profiles. The job status reports helps you generate the overall status for all the job types that are executed in the console. You can find this report useful to meet audit requirements. Besides the common filters and actions, job status report provides the capability to view results based on job type, job status, and plan name both active and deleted. You can view the actual values at source and destination for job types. The report displays the following job status. Successful provides a list of jobs that are completed successfully. Failed provides a list of jobs that failed. Incomplete provides a list of jobs that finished with the incomplete status. Canceled provides a list of jobs that are canceled. 
and missed provides a list of jobs that are not attempted. The log tab displays all activity logs for the protected nodes, destination servers, data stores, and plans. You can view logs and apply various filters such as severity, specific node logs generated from the machine, job IDs, and log content. You can search the activity logs using a combination of the available filters or one of the following options. Select severity types to view all the logs related to the selected type. Enter other details such as node name, job ID, and so on, and click search. The settings tab lets you configure certain preferences such as which email server to use, set up administrator user ID and password, and define the default node deployment path. The high availability tab lets you manage and control ArcServe high availability functions. Here at ArcServe, we have a lot of resources ready to help, whether you're a partner or an end user. For partners, make sure you're utilizing the Partner Portal, which will have updated tools and information to help you better position ArcServe to your customers. Utilize sales and pre-sales to help answer those tough questions. We've got tools like the UDP Resource Estimator, which can be used for proper sizing of the appliances and recovery point servers. Use our support site, Zendesk, not only for opening up the tickets, but for informational videos, product documentation, release notes, and live chat with support. These are just some of the resources available to you. White papers, blogs, and much more is available to both partners and end users. A 30-day free trial of ArcServe UDP 6.5 can be downloaded at ArcServe.com. Thank you for viewing the UDP 6.5 overview demonstration. Please view our other videos which will go into more detail around specific functionality such as high availability, protection for Office 365 Exchange Online, SLA reporting, and such.